Well, joining us this morning are Nisha Pradeep, uh, the president of Students Promoting Autism Awareness, and also Dr. Lindy Morgan with the Autism Institute. Uh, you guys are here to talk about the Spring Day Festival. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Tell Thank us you. about the festival. Well, we will be hosting, uh, my organization, Students Promoting Autism Awareness, will be hosting a Spring Day Festival this Saturday at Railroad Square from 12 to 6 p.m. We'll have local bands and artists from Tallahassee performing on two stages, food vendors, FSU organizations will be hosting activities for children, and we'll also have Tallahassee organizations uh, advocating and, and um, promoting their resources as well as uh, donated art and other items to help raise money for the FSU Autism Project. And talk with us with the FSU Autism Project. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be benefiting from this. Uh, what will that money go towards? Maybe I should talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, the FSU Autism Project is a fund in the FSU Foundation nonprofit, and um, all the funds go to assist local families um, and individuals who are dealing with autism. I mean, in addition to teacher training and research and some other initiatives, uh, primarily dollars go to assist families with whatever their needs may be in terms of buying special uh, equipment, educational materials, uh, attending camps, attending training, that kind of thing and families can just apply for funding. I was going to say, what are some of the things that uh, families maybe with an autistic child, um, maybe some of the special needs that they have to accommodate? Uh, we have, for for example, um, had individuals have, you know, maybe they have a child who's getting larger, they're growing, um, and they still need to be in a safe car seat. They may have, we've had families buy um, specialized car seats. Um, what the majority of the funds go to is families um, getting scholarships to attend trainings because they want to learn everything they can about supporting their child. So they may go to a training to support um, social skills or uh, to learn more about sleep or to learn more about potty training. And these are also open to adults as well. Yeah, and why did you guys decide to have this kind of festival to bring uh, this benefit? Well, initially, uh, we were trying to raise money for the the Autism Project's 5K that they hold every year, and this year's 5K will be the following Saturday on March 26th. And uh, I was just initially thinking of some sort of simple fundraiser, but then, you know, upon looking at locations to do some sort of performance of some sort, I I thought that Railroad Square would be the perfect place to try to bring the community together to have students, professionals, and family come together for this cause. So I thought it would be a good place to just bring local businesses and organizations together. Yeah, and again, yeah. the event, uh, the Spring Day Festival, is going on this Saturday, March 19th, uh, from 12 p.m., so 12 noon to 6 p.m. at Railroad Square, and it's free for everybody to come out. Yeah. Um, and then again, if you can't make it this weekend, or if you want to come to both events, there's also um, an Autism 5K and One Mile Fun Run going on the following Saturday at March 26th at the Southwood Town Center. So if you're interested in going to either one of those or want to come to both, you have that option and uh, to find out more information you can log on to um, the website autism.fsu.edu. You can also search Spring Day Festival for Autism Awareness on Facebook to get more details and you can also log on to our website wtxl.tv to see this interview again to get more information on both events. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you for Thank having you. us. We're back after the break. Stay with us.